everyone and welcome back to the Heavenly Homestead. My name is Letty and today I want to share with you how we do our laundry off-grid. This one. Laundry time is apparently very, very fun for Hope. So we live in southwestern Oregon in the mountains and we bought raw land two years ago. We put a yurt, put a trailer, but there was no power, no well, no septic. So pretty much is like those campgrounds that you have to pack it in and pack it out. You know, that's how we've been living for the last two years. So to do laundry, we had to be a little bit more inventive. We don't have pressure water because we don't have a creek, but we do have, uh, because we don't have a well, we do have a creek. So we bought a pump and we set up a washing station here in the woods. And that's what I'm gonna share with you today, our setup, how I do it, and I'll take you through it from start to finish the setup itself that it's very very simple I kind of have a system that it's been working but it's kind of different so I thought that for those curious minds out there I'd share with you my own setup Hope loves to do laundry because she loves to be back she loves to be back here then I have to give her a bath so she can go in anyways there's a lot of things or room for improvement but we will have a well and we do have power now, set up power. It's just an RV pedestal. In the meantime, this is what we're doing and I wanted to share it with you guys. Just so you know, there are a bunch of gadgets that you can get to make your life easier. This is not the only way that you can do laundry off grid. And this is not, um, I'm not claiming to be the most efficient way. I'm just sharing you, I am just sharing with you what I do and just in the hopes to share with you something different that maybe not everyone does. So this is my sink. So I have what I need for my laundry here in the sink. And I do use it, but right now that's how it's stored. And then I have this plastic wheelbarrow. Well, it will hold more water. So because of that, it's easier to put the clothes and leave it there for a while before I actually start scrubbing. Now, the water comes in this hose. And that hose, it goes to the creek. That is on top of a rock, it's not too big. Right now, this is what I'm dealing with. But later on today, I'm gonna grab a bucket, make holes on the sides, and put first the bucket and then on top of that. But right now, this is how it's working. So we have a hose that goes here, and it has a very long extension cord that goes that way around the girls pen and it's probably a good 200 feet of extensions that I have right now and the pump is connected to this But basically what you do, or what I do, I connected it to one of these so I can turn on and off the pump. So right now, turn the switch, and since Hope was messing with the water, it's going to come muddy, so I'm going to send it back. But after a few seconds, you'll see how it starts to clear up. Uh, there. So once it does, I start filling this up and as I'm filling it up, just so it gets a little bit more bubbly, I go with the laundry detergent. Since I am so close to a creek, I use 
everything biodegradable and stuff that is not bad for the environment. And this is gray water, so of course you can get rid of gray water normally, as if it was your sink water or your uh, shower water. This is gray water too. So we'll put it there. And if you have a good laundry detergent, whether you make it or you buy it, it's, it will start to remove like the dirt, mud, kind of immediately. Now it fills up pretty quickly, so once that's done, I'll just turn off the switch here. I tried to put the clothes um, not as you would put it in a washing machine, like inside out. since I'm going to be scrubbing it. And it's all the scrubbing and then goes to rinse. Now, if there is something that is like this right now are all pants or bottoms, I should say. So if they are bottoms, it doesn't, and especially black, it doesn't really get stained or anything like that. But if they were stained, I would leave them here, soaking for longer. But see, these are all black leggings, mostly mine. And what they need is a good scrub. And that's pretty much it. Uh, some depending on the fabric will soak more on the dirt and you can see the water it's already like if you have a good detergent the water <laughs> gets uh, dirty almost immediately but the more it suds up it feels it seems like it's washing better but in my experience doing it by hand uh, it doesn't really clean more just because it sets up and you will see because as we fill this up with clean water to do the final rinse then you'll see how the water is not as dirty because it really used to laundry detergent pooling most of the dirt out as you soak it for a few minutes. The more synthetic the fabric, the easier that it is to wash and the quickens that it dries. Not that I like it, but... And these are working clothes, so they are dirty. I mean, I am not just showing you how I do laundry. I'm actually doing the laundry. So, you will see how my working clothes is really dirty. Get rid of this water that is dirty. Now you'll see how clear the water is and how muddy it's gone. Because I was already with 
the protein side. In, the water is clear, but as we rinse it, some of the dirt will still continue to come out. The creek provides water for our animals, provides water for our laundry, provides water for our garden. You know, a lot of uses and a lot of things that we use for it. And then we basically have to carry our old water for drinking and doing dishes and cooking and that kind of thing. So there's a lot of weed eating happening, but the sad part of bringing new clothes is that I have to take down <laughs> the one that I did before. The plastic ones from Walmart, worst three dollars ever spent. They break like you open them and they start breaking. So it is what I have, so I'm not gonna complain. But yeah, this is a dog run that I'm not using it for that. 